Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and today we have an episode of Family Dynamics. And before we get started, of course, I want to give a shout out to The Simmers. I appreciate you guys so much. Today, we are going to celebrate Cassiel and also we're going to celebrate Eden's birthday right at the start of today's episode. And I have a lot planned for us. So if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. But yeah, let's get started. So right now, Cassiel is trying to make some pancakes this morning for Eden. If you notice, Paris is not living with us. They broke up. It's just been a lot going on. And he wants to figure out his differences with others because he's fear of being judged. I guess maybe Paris, they didn't leave off on a great note, obviously. I mean, he obviously wants his daughter to have a good birthday. And it is also his birthday as well. <laughs> but he has a lot on his mind with everything going on with Paris and then also everything going on with Misha's death. But despite all of that, he's trying to make sure she has a good birthday today. I want to take them all on a vacation to celebrate their birthday, but I want Eden to be a child because honestly, it's only fun when they're older oh. than a toddler to go on vacation. And then also he works tomorrow and I think he might get a promotion and finally be level nine of his career. So I don't want to take a vacation day and miss work. So he has some things, quote unquote, to finish up here before they go on vacation is what he's telling Eden. Because she's like, this is all we're doing for my birthday. I mean, she's going to be like that once she ages up. Like, this is all we're doing. I think she's also going to notice, like, why can't I leave the house? I can't really do much. And she's going to want to, like, you know, start leaving the house. Hence why they're going to go on vacation. She is really doing well with skills. Oh, she's level four movement. Hallelujah. That's the last skill that she needs to max out to technically max all her skills. But maybe she won't get to level five movement. I think that's fine, honestly. We can't stack that. Oh, her dad's coming in. Did you finish the cake? Okay, he did. He's like, I got a surprise. Oh, wait, first let me... Oh, and the cake is poor. He's already failing at the birthday. Add birthday candles to this. She changed herself. She's like, I want to look cute for my birthday. Don't go outside, though. You can't. All right, let's have him blow out his candles first. I mean, it's not an interesting birthday right now. And I know it's like kind of early on in the episode. The cake is so bad. She's watching her dad blow out his candles. But it is his birthday too. So we have to age him up. Like it's sparkling. It's his birthday. He's now an adult. Add the birthday candles again. And now it's time for your princess's birthday. Look at her with her puppy. This is the last time you're going to be little. How about you pet crest? Be like, it's my birthday. I'm going to give both of them a makeover when I go into create a sim. Uh, so cute. Okay, let's... Oh, he's trying to eat breakfast. Blow out candles for it. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again, not again. Let's help her blow out candles. Okay, and then they can have pancakes and stuff together. And I'm going to give them both a makeover. I'm so excited. Happy birthday, Eden. I can't believe she's going to be a child already. But I just want to show that she had zero days to age up. She was a top-notch infant, too. She's having a pretty good childhood, considering everything. All right, we're looking at Generation 7. I'm just looking at what traits we need. Good, Insider, and Bookworm. I don't know if we can give Insider. I think I'm going to save Insider for a team. But I definitely want to do Good and Bookworm for now. And then we can figure out the other trait. Okay, yeah, we can do Bookworm. We can technically do insider, but I think that's more of a teen trait. Okay, we can do good too. And then what else should be another trait she has? You can make her friendly, sociable. All right, we can make her optimistic for now. I feel like she is looking forward to her future. And just, especially when she meets her grandmother, I think I'm going to give her, we'll do mind and body for now. Okay, and then I'm going to go into cast and give her a makeover, and I'm also going to give Cassiel a little bit of an updated look as well. All right, this is Cassiel's makeover. He decided to go back to cutting his hair again. He, the braid life was not for him. Keeping up with it and everything, it was, he was being something that he's not. I mean, that's like the story of Cassiel's life, to be honest. But the real, the real, like star of this makeover is our Eden Rose. I think she's so cute. She's still not getting her hair done because her dad doesn't let her leave the house unless it's for school. So instead she focuses more on her fashion because she can just order things online and her dad just lets her order whatever she wants. She's pretty spoiled. 
pretty much. Look at her, her nails. Look, look at them. So cute. She definitely ordered those stickers off of Timu. But I love Eden. She's so cute. She doesn't want the cake because the cake is gross. She'll probably throw it away. <laughs> Even though he needs fun right now, he also needs to see if his gang did what they were supposed to do. But let me take care of his garden first and then we'll call his gang over. Because we do need to work on this skill. Right now, his mischief is level 9 and gardening 8. Those are the two skills for this challenge. So I do want to work on that. You guys were mentioning that you feel like his gang is slowly abandoning him, which I agree with. I think that he's not realizing that. We're going to call them over again and see how they're doing and if they really want to be a part of this gang or if he has to disband this. I think his like obsession with Corey is making it so... That's all he focuses on and his gang is like, okay, we're not really making money. We're not like, you're not bettering our life at all. So weeding is not working. So I'm going to harvest all of them and then reset the plants as I go and see if that works. Explosion. And now somebody wants to come over to buy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's not letting me weed. Oh, wait, some of them are letting me weed them. Hmm. Okay. Okay, only some of them are. Well, I'm just going to leave that. Let's see if his client is here. <gasps> this is where the explosion was? Are you? And his daughter is in here? She could have gotten hurt? I feel like somebody like did that. Oh my goodness. Now he's even more nervous for his daughter. What is going on? And you're yelling at my dog. Are you kidding me? Okay, finally he sold to him. I think we can sell him more stuff. Oh, there's one of his gang members. Imagine she's like, oh, and by the way, I'm leaving too. All right, now let's invite crew members over. We only have two gang members or three gang members remaining. I would assume that Princeton is out of jail now because we can invite him. I don't know. It must have already worked. It says Cameron is already here. Okay, we haven't. Oh, and he left. Cameron always does this. He never wants to come. He's leaving. Oh, and now he's being mean to Anya, I think her name is. Yeah. Or Anaya. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Cameron does not want to be a part of this gang anymore. Then he needs to say that. Oh, did she try to flirt with us? All right, let's get loot from him. Let's see. If it doesn't work, I think... Can we, like, kick him out of the game? Like, please. This would be, like, the third mission you messed up. All right, I don't know what they're doing, but can we get our money? Okay, he actually gave us money. Now he's being mean again. Send on robbery mission. I don't know why he's being mean to everyone. Cameron left and he's not coming back. I think he's out of the game. All right, you're here, Princeton. You're out of jail. He might be awaiting trial. He's like, I'm not trying to get into anything. And he's still going to send him to claim a street corner because that's what he does. I could have swore Gracie was a part of our gang too, but did she just like leave? I guess Gracie left our gang. She used to be a part of our gang. All right, he's sending him to get a street corner all right let me see if i can manage crew and remove princeton not princeton cameron yeah cameron is is he left he's done who's our enforcer anaya i think anaya will stay and princeton is an enforcer we can hire more people but does he even know people to recruit not really no he has no friends i mean he has some friends that are like his clients but he doesn't want to mix business with it and only like really his family yeah he has no one <laughs> i think that's the realization he has no one poor thing oh there's stuff we can garden out here mm, okay while we work on that or after we work on that skill i want to work on mischief oh i forgot to show you guys i finished eden's room and she's reading a part of her generation she has to read 10 unique books Kind of similar, like her father needs to steal 10 items. Speaking of that, since he doesn't work today, I think I might do a robbery. He heard that Corey is out of town and he wants to figure out where Corey went. So yeah, we're going to go to his place and try to steal his stuff. <laughs> oh, look how cute. But yeah, she has her little bookie book. She's so cute. I love her so much. But this will be her first book that she finishes. I think she looks so much like her mom. I can, I can see Misha in there. 
But what is this book? Oh, Lord of the Swings. When she finishes books, I'm going to keep them in her inventory so I can keep track. Because I already lost track of how many things her dad stole over this generation. All right. He is only 28% of the way there. Goodness. I think he's going to order Eden pizza for her birthday and be like, just stay in the house. I got to run out and do some things. Oh, this dog needs a walk. What would she want? Ooh, this one has, it's a quattro. Quattro, right? Four different sections. I think she would like this. All right, she's in here watching her little movie. It's sad that her birthday is just spent indoors by herself. Poor thing. But he's like, I promise we'll go out. Oh, and our dog is attacking people because our dog is a, an, a guard dog, you know? Oh, he was sweet by his daughter. Cute. All right, you gonna go get the pizza? Thanks. Are you liking your movie? Oh, she got a pizza. He's like, kid, I gotta go out. And she was like, can't you stay and watch the movie? I'll give a talking to. Oh, we can argue with her about morals because she's so good. Oh, is this not vegetarian? Sorry. I'll give her a little joke before you go. Like, it's okay, listen. We're going to go and we're going to go on a vacation tomorrow. Okay? We're going to go to Suwanee. You want to go to the beach? And she was like, okay, yeah, I want to go to the beach. Now, he's saying they're going to go to Suwanee, but really, he's just saying that because he thinks that's where Corey is. And I know he's tired. I'm going to get him a sleep um, replacement. But he's saying Suwanee because that's where he thinks he is. But he's going to go to his house and see if he can figure out if that's truly where he is. And hopefully it is because that's where he just promised his daughter they're going to go. But we're going to drink this, finish our pizza. Um, and she's going to be in. I guess she's tired, so... She's going to use the bathroom and shower before bed. I think we're going to wait until she sleeps. She's like, I'm scared. I don't want to stay by myself. And he's like, I won't leave until you're asleep. We'll tuck her in and stuff. Come in here and sit so you can smoke. He is pretty nervous to go out by himself. He's going to smoke and wait until she's in bed and tuck her in and everything. But yeah, this is her big girl room. I love it. I love the double bed because she's a princess. He got her a computer because she wanted one. Yeah, she's off to sleep. I think he's nervous to go to Corey's house alone, but this is kind of what happens when you burn all your bridges. Like, you got rid of your girlfriend. You got rid of your closest gang member. And you really have no one to rely on anymore. And now you're older, and you're not wiser. <laughs> I'm just reading him to filth because, honestly, Cassio does deserve this low-key. Making terrible decisions. Terrible decisions. All right, he's going to tuck in Eden. I think we're going to take Cress with us, our guard doggy. All right, you tucked your daughter. Good night. Time to head out. All right, he's here with his doggy on the streets of Newcrest. This is like a high level thing. I don't even know if we're going to be able to break in or steal anything. Okay, we can steal some chairs, attempt to swipe. It'll be like he's looking for clues. So this is where Corey's main operation is, I guess. I can't start a break in because no one lives here. But I can steal the stuff that we need to steal. All right, we're going to attempt to swipe more stuff. So we stole one thing. I know we already have stolen like three things this gen. So this is like the fourth thing. We're just going to take all the chairs. I know it's nothing, but it's more like he's looking around for stuff to take and like clues. I don't know if there's anything else we can steal. Oh, we can steal these. Oh, he's vaping again. We can't even steal anything like worth value. Oh, yeah, you can steal this actually. Attempt to swipe. Ooh, a ghost. A ghost, a ghost, a ghost, a ghost, a ghost. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, did we get caught? We got caught by the ghost. How embarrassing. Okay, well, the ghost is going to keep catching us, so we're going to go. Oh, nope, the ghost left. I think ghost left. It, it, yeah, and we stole it. Good. <laughs> All right, let's dive in the garbage. I know, I know, I know, I know. But he's looking for clues to see where Corey went. And he can't get into the building. The building has too high of a security. So he wants to see, was there anything that Corey threw out that can let him know, like, where he is? Okay, he found something in there. And we're going to say that he found the clue of where Corey went. And it wasn't Sulani, so he has to break the news to Eden. But instead of going to Sulani, they're going to be going to Tomarang. So he found a little receipt for a hotel in Tomarang. And he thinks that... That is, or not a hotel, like an Airbnb in Tomarang, and he thinks that's where Corey is. So, yeah. After work tomorrow, he's going to, him and Eden are going to head out to Tomarang as a 
quote unquote birthday celebration for her. But it's really to see if he can find Corey because he's still not over the fact that Corey killed his baby mother and Corey's daughter. Long story short, he's trying to go to Tomerang to kill Eden's grandfather on her birthday celebration. So we'll we'll see how that turns out for him. But tomorrow we're going to pick back up in Tomerang. I'm going to let you guys know if he gets his promotion or not. He should definitely get a promotion though. He's like an excellent and we have everything checked off to get the promotion. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that he gets it. But I really want to pick back up in Tomerang and play that part out for us. All right, so we're here at the villa. It's like an apartment building, but I honestly just made it a residential rental. And since it's like an apartment, it's like an Airbnb. We're going to stay on, I think this is the side that has the two rooms. Yeah, because I think this side only has one room but technically we have the whole two sides anything for his baby girl to have a good good birthday and even though he's sad and like i'm i'm guessing he's sad with everything going on and he's mourning from like losing a good way friend and people like peeling away because cameron and him fell out ever since cameron left the gang now cameron turned into an adult and doesn't want to do this anymore so it's just so many people peeling away from him also also freaking anaya died anaya was like his long-term friend growing up and i forgot this even happened i stopped recording the other day and now i'm like picking back up and i completely forgot that anaya freaking died off camera and what happened is anaya was like living at our apartment building mind you and she was in our gang for a long time she died because their dryer at their apartment building exploded and she like literally burned to death i didn't even know a fire was going on and I go, I look, I'm like, why can't we travel? And it was like, oh, you can't travel when there's a fire on your lot. And she died, sadly. And Gracie's her sister, mind you. So now we lost Cameron and we lost Anaya. So now our gang is only Princeton and Mark. We're not even a gang. We're a friend group again. So he has a lot going on, a lot going on mentally. And then this whole Corey thing and, and everything, it's just crazy. But he also has to focus on his daughter and raise his kid. Like, it's just a lot. I feel bad for him. But he's asking her, like, we already put our stuff down. Crest is inside. He's, like, checking out the place. Do you want to go down to the beach? Because we're here in Tilmering. And she wanted to go to um, Sulani because they have better beaches. And he's like, look, there's a beach right here. Let's. Let's have them chat here. So they're going to go here together. And he's like, look, I told you there's water. You have your bathing suit. Let's go swimming. He wants to do like some things for her. I mean, we really came here to look for her grandfather and she doesn't know that. But he's trying to spin it like this is a nice little birthday vacation I'm bringing you on, Eden. Because she claims that she never leaves the house because she doesn't because he keeps her in the house. And he's like, look how beautiful this is. Don't you want to travel to beautiful places so daddy has to work? Like, I feel like that's like the stuff he tells her. Like, I'm working. She has no clue. Her dad is like a hardened criminal. Like, she sees people in and out and stuff. But she does not know that. He's like, listen, put your, your bathing suit on. Daddy needs to go smoke real quick, okay? And you go play in the water. So, because he does need a... Uh, like, nicotine right now. I don't know if he's going to go swimming with her. But she's like happy as can be energized that she's here at the pool i didn't even get to go through all of her outfits and everything i just think they're so cute her outfits but let me just put her in her bathing suit she's like yay i get to go swimming i know she's so happy like she literally never leaves okay you're not going inside though you're still going to be out here and, and watch her and also look for Corey while you're out here and smoke your vape he just didn't want to smoke in front of her now that she's older it's like so, and he has all these drugs on him here in Oh, she likes fitness. Sure. He has all these drugs on him here in Tomerang. I, I'm pretty sure they're not going to take lightly to your drugs. Please don't get caught with all these drugs on you. This is the last thing we need. But he's here watching his daughter swim. It's, well, look at Eden. Eden is like so relaxed right now. She's so relaxed. Like, look how cute she is. She's been through so much. I wonder if she asked him about her mom often or not. I do wonder. All right, he has to use the bathroom. He's like, Eden, I'm running to the bathroom. Don't talk to nobody. Because <laughs> he really does have to go. He's like so nervous for his daughter too, especially because he knows Corey might be here. And Corey already killed her mother. And he's like so protective of his daughter. She just sees it as like her dad being protective. He does. She doesn't know much about surrounding her mom's death. Like she's still too young to have like read articles or look into her mom. But yeah, she... She 
wouldn't really look into her mom right now. I mean, once she starts making friends and stuff and people ask her like, oh, where's your mom? She's like, oh, my mom died when I was little. And people are going to ask her how. I don't think she knows how. Um, I don't think she wants to stay here, though. I mean, her dad said to do back floating in here, but she's already like cooled off and ready to explore more. I don't think we're in the downtown area. So I don't think she'll go too far. Oh, I didn't even know boats pass by over here. I literally never been to Tomerang. This is my first time ever bringing the sim here, seeing what it's like or anything like that. Oh, and Princeton is calling about a date. Yeah, go for it. Maybe if you get with somebody, you will stop bothering me. Okay, instead of grilling, I know you want to grill out. Come over here. Uh, excuse me, I'm on vacation. We cannot sell you drugs. Let me go here and call her. No, you're not cooking. <laughs> We're going to go out to eat. I think there's like a night market or something. You're going to ask her, coach swimming, praise her effort in swimming. Yeah, I saw you swimming from the house. I didn't know you know how to swim now. Do you want to go out to eat? I think he's like such a good dad to her, but it's just so much going on that he doesn't really get the time to be. And now that she's older, it's just like so much more responsibility on him. But he's like, yeah, let's go eat. Let's go eat. Okay, cute. He loves his baby girl. All right, let's go and check out this night market. I'm hoping it's actually fun there. I Like I said, I've never been here. At least I don't remember ever coming here. I never brought a sim here, never lived in this world. So, oh, no, actually, I, I have been to Tomerang. But I've only been to it on stream during Not So Berry. I lied. I have been here. But, like, not enough to know this. I don't think I've ever been to this neighborhood. Uh, not enough to know this world. So I'm still excited to check it out, though. So let's head over there. All right, we're here at the night market. We have to pay crest on a leash. Crest is not a friendly dog that you have like running around. He's starving. He's going to try to grow something if we don't find him something to eat. But I want to check this out. Like this is cute. I wish I can click on it and have them like view the statues. That's that's cute. Oh, we can encourage Crest to do his business in the pond. Okay, but this is the park. I don't even know how to like travel around here. Like where's the center part? Oh, well, there's another little park over here for kids. We need to find food though. I mean, am I going to have to grill out? Oh, we can come and visit this. Can she visit too? I don't know what this is. What is this? I'm asking you guys like I'm streaming. Hold on. <laughs> Let me go and see if we can visit here. I don't know what it is, but we can click on it and visit. Y'all, I have no clue where this night market. Oh, it's right over here, right? No, maybe? Yes. Ooh, okay, they do have food. Oh no, now, now I don't want them to visit. Okay, stop visiting. I don't know what that is. She's like, I wanna go, I wanna go. No, no, Eden, come over here. We're gonna go eat. Mm. Let's have them come over here and see what we can buy. I think there's only one stall open and then maybe they can come and sit over here. Oh no, there's more food over here. Oh no, we can buy goods. Oh, she's gonna want that. And food, what kind of food do you want? Eating, I'm like asking her like she can answer me, but there's like so much food here. Okay, let's have, where is she? She's like, dad, are you coming? Are you coming? Where did he go? Yeah, he's like, I'm coming. All right, let me see. She's gonna try to haggle. He's like, get what you want. I love went crest with the little, He's like, you don't have to ask for a discount. Daddy will buy you whatever you want. She's like, no discount. Oh, she got a discount. Look at her. I feel like, isn't she going to be a politician next? I feel like she just, she's she has a way with her words. Okay, she is a kid. So I feel like kids, actually, I feel like she will try something new and her dad would be like, oh, absolutely not. Um, And her dad can only get vegetarian things. So he can only get the rice here. He's like, I can't get anything here, baby. Daddy doesn't eat meat. All right, let's have her get her chicken stir fry. And then we'll see. He's like, I'm going to see down here. Did he end up smoking? When did he smoke? Oh, my goodness. Oh, he could buy local attire, purchase good. Oh, this is nice. He's going to like, I'm going to see what they have over here. Oh, they have garlic. New they have vegetarian options here. The girl was probably like, you got to go around the corner for the vegetarian food. Oh, they're so cute. He's like, meet me over there don't don't wander off come sit here and eat your food oh see our dog is freaking attacking people see this is why we got to keep our dog on a leash we don't even want to lecture for attacking because we want you to attack people talk to listen we we on, are on vacation you can't just be doing that oh is there more stuff over here can she get a, a drink oh can she get dessert that would be so cool oh she's talking to a stranger again i feel like she just makes friends She's going to buy some goods after. Her dad's like, stay right there, okay? I'm going to go and get my food. Who are you talking to? He's always keeping an eye on her. He's nervous with his, his um, I guess, not even father-in-law because Kamisha is never married to him. Ooh, she can get a jar of marbles. She'll definitely get that. Mm, what else would she 
Ooh, a marble. Yeah. Maybe she'll put a pink tassel in her room to remember the time here. Mm, yeah, her dad said she can get anything. So that's what she got. She got two marbles. She got a tassel, a jar of marbles. Oh, wait, almost forgot her jar. A jar of marbles. That's cute. Okay. She got her little souvenirs to remember this trip by. Oh, I feel like she heard from that girl. She's like, oh, why don't you go? You know, there's a park here that you can play at. Where did I find the park? So she's going to go over here and sneak away from her dad and go play pirate. Not because she's just a little girl. She doesn't remember everything her dad said. I would say he would see her, but I feel like this woman yelling at her, his dog. He's like, why are you yelling at my dog? And now look, my dog is going to attack you. He has to worry about Crest and attacking people. That's what he has to worry about. <gasps> look who it is. Look who it is. Thank goodness we had Eden go over here. So she's sneaking off over here. And look who do we see having a drink. So, yeah, we have to play this cool because let's have him get a drink. Is any of these? No, there's like sugar cane juice. I don't think he wants a drink. But he does see Corey. And I don't think Corey knows who he is. So he, can you imagine being Corey on the run for killing your daughter? And this guy just comes over and he knows who he is too. Okay, stop, stop talking to this lady. Ignore her, ignore her. Come sit over here. I think Crest went to go find. Crest is being protective. We're going to have her call Crest over. Actually, no, we need Crest over here. Is Crest running after people attacking them? I don't know where Crest is running. Ignore Crest. But he's just going to slide up into the seat. And inside, he has like this... Oh, he got up immediately. He was like, oh, no, no, no. Trying to run away. He said, don't run. I have a gun. And I will shoot up this whole Tomoreni marketplace. And we will both go to foreign jail. Sit down. Give him a rude introduction. Sit down right now, Corey. We got some business to get to. This has been a meeting that we've been waiting for since the generation literally started. He's sad all like, over again, seeing his face like you literally killed Kamisha. You killed your daughter. Like, hello? What does he think? Oh, Corey thinks Cassiel is weird and rude. Yeah, he's probably like, this weird little rude boy took over my block. But this is the infamous Corey Adams. We're finally meeting him. And we feel he's pretentious, like stuck up, like, uh, hello. Oh, he wants to make an enemy too. Arguing? Argue? about parenting what kind of now that i have a daughter what kind of father i can never imagine shooting eden you know you have a granddaughter huh you know you killed your daughter in front of my daughter you know you traumatized my daughter it's like so much that he wants to say to him and they're in the middle of this uh not help fix bad relationship they're in the middle of this foreign country where they don't know anything about about anything and it's just like he wants to he wants to fight him so bad. He wants to kill him, to be honest. He wants to kill him. And they just have to sit and have this discussion because they're in the busy market. And let's let's just be happy that Cassiel has grown because hot headed Cassiel, a Cassiel from a few years ago would have lit up this whole night market. But now he's thinking about his daughter. His daughter is like at the park. He doesn't even know where his daughter is, but he she's he's happy that she's not witnessing him cursing this man out. And Honestly, I don't even know. We're going to threaten him. Yeah, we're going to threaten him. Like, just know, Corey, wherever you are here, I'm going to find you. I'm here to kill you. Like, he's, that's really why he's here. Like, there's no growth or anything. He's here to literally kill this man. And he's like, you're lucky that your granddaughter is right around the corner. Or I would have took out my gun and killed you right here. But instead, instead, I'm letting you know the next time we meet, it will not be as civil as this is. You hear me, Corey? And I think Corey's finally realizing, like, wait, I don't have any of my resources here. He actually looks scared. He actually looks scared because Corey himself is going through a lot, too. Like, after killing his daughter, obviously, he had to run here. He only has his girlfriend, who is not even Misha's mother. Misha's mother cut him off. Once Misha's mother figured out he killed her daughter, remember Misha's mom was like, oh, yeah, you know, you got to listen to your dad, Kamisha. Well, no, Corey killed her trying to listen to her. So now Kamisha's mom cut him off. She moved and left Newcrest. I would love for Eden to meet both of her grandmothers one day. To be honest, I don't think her grandfather is going to make it past this generation. You guys have to let me know what you think Cassiel is going to do with him next time. Um, but yeah, we're going to actually end it here. But he's letting him know, like letting Corey know, when I see you next, it's up for you. And like, 
it is what it is. It is what it is. But like I was saying, Corey lost a lot too. Even though he stole all Cassie. Oh, I forgot about that. He stole 700000 from Cassio. How are we going to get that money back? I got to figure that out before next episode. Um, but yeah, everything is about to come to an head. So I kind of, I know this was a shorter one and we only have two more episodes in the series. And I know if you're like me, you want to see Corey suffer. Let me know what you think we, sh- we should do with Corey for next episode. Do you think Cassiel is really going to, you know, off him like he said he was going to do? Or do you think Cassiel is going to put his daughter first and not risk his freedom by doing this and his safety? Cause he will have to be on the run forever. Like we think Corey is the top dog. Corey just works for somebody else who works for somebody else who works for somebody else. And if we kill Corey, I'm sure his connects, his drug connects are going to come after Cassiel. And then Cassiel can no longer keep his daughter. So we have to make a decision. Is Cassiel really going to be growing and think about his daughter's future? Or is he going to take Corey's life next episode? And will that be, you know, it? You guys have to let me know what you're thinking because, you know, we only have two more episodes left in this generation before we're done. But yeah, we finally ran into Corey. He's here. It is what it is. We now have to figure out what is Cassiel's gonna, next step going to be. We still have one more day in our vacation. And he was supposed to take Eden to the animal sanctuary tomorrow and spend the day with her some more here in Tomerang. But I guess his lead was right when he searched that garbage. I guess he did find out that Corey was really here in Tomerang on the run from his daughter. Well, from murdering his daughter and answering for that crime. But I can yap on forever about Corey because I can't stand him and what he did. It's not like I made him do it or anything, but you know what I mean? (laughs) I can't stand him. So yeah, we have to figure out what we're going to do with Mr. Adams. I need your help because part of me wants to off him and then... Cassio is just going to be, have to be on the run for a long time until like the statue of limitations is up. Um, but part of me would want to see Cassio's growth, but maybe that growth comes through with Eden's gen because Eden is going to have to get close to her grandma and bridge the gap between her father and his mother. So maybe we won't see Cassio's growth this generation and it just has to be for next gen. I don't know. You guys have to let me know the direction and, and where you want to see things go. But I had so much fun this episode. I love playing family dynamics. I I don't even know. Next generation is going to be so wholesome in comparison. I don't even know what to do. But if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.